Hi, it's Laura here from Super Sweet Life, soon to be iHeart Planner, and I want to show you my storage room organization. I honestly put off this project for over two years. <laughs> I just kind of threw everything in this extra room because, let's face it, like that room where you throw everything, that's the hardest one to tackle. And I was honestly motivated since I'm due with our first baby in three months. I figure any project I can tackle before she arrives be much much easier so um, I know this this isn't necessarily a magazine worthy organizing system but it's very practical this is an unfinished space and I didn't want to spend any money on buying matching organizing things because it just didn't seem reasonable for an unfinished space anyway and I just wanted to be really practical so this is what I did this is just a cheap bookshelf that we had um, from Target and the first thing I did to unify everything was I put matching chalkboard labels on everything. I love the chalkboard labels, they're easy to change what it says and they look really nice with the white edging and it kind of unifies everything even though nothing, my containers don't really match too much. So this is like my cleaning area. These two are empty, I always think it's good to have room to grow. These are photos that are someday that'll be another project to go through but they're all contained at least um, then here is see, this is a container store bin I love these I practically pick one up every time or more every time I go some shelf liner and some dish liquid that I see in there then we have our cleaning bin uh, painting supplies dusters like Swiss, Swiffer dusters sponges and scrub brushes um, I love these open the obviously the lids don't fit, but it just helps to contain things. Um, these are carpet cleaning, spot cleaners, things like that. Baby soda, vinegar, alcohol, things I use in DIY cleaners, um, replacement vacuum bags, another one of these pull out things from the painter store that has spray paint for projects we're gonna do soon in the baby's room. Um, these drawers I've had for like over ten years. Um, these are command hooks in here. CDs and DVDs, blank, blank ones, and cases, uh, extra phone case, ribbon and tissue, unlabeled items are just empty. Um, then, let me show you a little bit lower. So, I don't know if how well you can see, but whenever I didn't have something in a container, I just directly labeled the shelf. This is my Pearl Bakeware, my Tortilla Maker, Food Safe container, and my Mason jars. Here I'll show you um, this area. The big shelf I just showed you is over there. This holds toilet paper that I buy in bulk at Sam's Club. This paper towel that I buy in bulk. I just I'm out right now, but those will go there. These are my the bulk bags I always buy in bulk. They come in these like with four of these, so I put just this part upstairs in the kitchen. This is just different bulk items. They will vary. These are um, bins of sentimental type stuff like cards and things I want to save. This is something else, um, a stamping gadget I want to save. And then, if we look over here, I have, these are mostly empty, just room to grow. And, and honestly, this is also where I store my extra organizing items. It's bad when you have to organize your organizing items, but that's the way it is. Uh, this is our winter gear. It'll be actually really easy just to take this lid off and easily access like our gloves and scarves in the winter. Fortunately, it's sort of spring. <laughs> um, these are manuals. I just put them all in here because I honestly, I never refer back to them. So I don't spend a lot of time organizing them in some elaborate system. Photo negatives, old taxes we still need to save, extra file folders, a big mess of cords down there and there. Just, yeah, I could honestly go through those again and kind of organize them and sort them out. But for now, they're just all thrown in there. Um, extra towels, and there's going to be some more extra towels and wash rags that go down there for my guests and things. Then um, we have some built-in shelves up the top here. Um, the two bins over here that are kind of hidden, that's cake decorating. Then this is children's Bible class materials for the class that I teach. Light bulbs, you always need to know where those are. It seems like those that's one thing that I never <laughs> knew where they were before. These are actually empty. 
photo prop backgrounds. This will have shipping supplies like air bubbles and things. Um, over here, these two are both food prop. They used to take a lot of food photos for my blog. I don't take as many now, so I've pared that down and made it a little harder to access. This is a stuff I need for a girls camp that I direct every summer. This is a to be sorted bin. It's just got a bunch of stuff that needs to be filed. It's so important items that I'll need to go through that. And then in the future, if I get something in here, I don't really know where to put it and don't have time, I'll put it in here. I think having a catch-all kind of in each area is really good for keeping the color contained instead of like all out over the surfaces. Christmas ornaments, a craft project. This is labeled muffin tins, so that's this area. You'll notice like also, like none of these match. They don't even sell, like Target always changes the colors that they sell, which really annoys me. So if you go back six months later, it's a different color. But again, I was just using what I had and I wasn't about to spend the time or money spray painting all of them to match, which you can do by the way, but definitely wasn't for me. Over here we have more built-in shelving. This is the shelf I'm just showing you. Here is a cake taker, pie dishes, cookbooks up there you can't see, as well as a vase and some IKEA storage bins. These aren't all full. Um, these have like glade scented refills, baby shower for when I take the baby shower, playing cards, headphones, and MP3 players for just jogging. Then these are just extra storage bins. I use these under my sink. I love these so. Again, more extra storage bins. A bunch of vases and a little teddy bear. Um, this is our fondue pot. The extra wine glasses. These are little cupcake stands. I used these at my wedding and I kept a couple. These are actually empty boxes. I have these displayed upstairs, but for glass items like that, it's really nice to save the boxes and the original packing in case you ever want to sell it and use down lower. Let's see if you can see that. So down lower we just have a couple of our lunch boxes. We don't use those all the time. Um, extra silver we got at our wedding. Some really nice water goblets. And the only thing under there, um, it's really kind of hard to put stuff under there, is a water jug that my husband uses in the summer while he works outside. And for the final spot, it's kind of on the opposite wall, is you can see all the purchases. There's like the water heater and such. Um, there's our washer. And we have those built-in shelves, so I just put the laundry stuff on top. Actually, have some extra space there. So we rotate to where our dryer is. And the top thing has a bunch of my extra toilet cleaning brushes. Um, then we have pest control, like mouse traps, which thankfully we don't have. Um, and some ant poison and things. Um, below that is rags and moth refills and then a box of light bulb, outdoor light bulbs. Um, my camera does not usually sit on top of the washing machine. It's only because I'm taking photos of this space. And then it help you get your bearings. I'll turn you around. There's like, I just did the um, ironing board up against the wall there. And then there's a broom over there. And then we're back around to the shelf I showed you. I showed you all these shelves over here and then we have the door I put some hooks up I'm gonna put some more up for like aprons and things and we keep our shoes down there this is um, when we first walk in and we're back around the exit to the heater and such and then to the washing machine one other thing I'll point out is I keep a big trash can right here I think it's super super handy to have a trash can right by where you do laundry and 